Preacher's Wife's Log, 1202, 22. Which really means it's February 22nd, 2012. Weatherby Manor, take 4011. In six days, it is going to be the fourth anniversary of the day that I lost my longest and best friend, Rhonda, to leukemia. And since she died, I have been trying to figure out how to become a bone marrow donor in her honor. And I had never been able to find a place to do that in our area where we lived, but almost a year ago now we moved. And in August of last year, we just happened to be in an area where they were doing a benefit for a lady who had leukemia. And at the benefit, there was an organization there doing cheek swabs and um, getting people to register to be bone marrow donors. And we were able to do that. And yesterday, I received my official bone marrow donor card. And I'm really proud of that, and I'm really glad that that is something that I can do in honor and in memory of my friend. Every year when this time comes around, I get into a funk, and I miss my friend, and I have some good days and bad days. But this year, I wanted to take some time to just... Thank the people in my life that I am so thankful for. I feel like I didn't get the chance to tell Rhonda how grateful for her that I was and how thankful I am that she was a part of my life. And so I just wanted to make sure I did that with some other people. We had a really tough year. Um, we went through a really hard times this past year. We had a lot of difficult things happen. We had a big move and we just went through a lot of stuff and there are a few people in my life that I want to thank specifically. I don't have time to thank everyone so um, there are a handful of people that I just want to make sure that they know that I love them and I care about them and I'm so, so thankful that they're in my life and that I would not have survived this past year without them. And the first person that I would like to thank is my husband. I don't thank him nearly enough or let him know how much I appreciate him nearly enough. He went with me um, to register to be a bone marrow donor. and. He did that for me. Um, that was not really something that I think that he would have chosen to do on his own, but he knew how important that that was to me, and he did that on, um, in support of me. And I just want to thank him for that, and also thank him for putting up with me. Um, he sees all the good and all the bad, and he stays around. <laughs> so thank you, honey, and I love you so much. And I would also like to say thank you to Riley, my daughter. Um, she is doing such a great job. And Riley, I just want to tell you how proud I am of you. And I am so thankful that you are growing into a beautiful patient and smart young lady and I thank you for holding my hand when I need a hand holder and just for being a strong kind beautiful person and I would also like to thank my son Griffin for making me laugh and for giving hugs and just being a great kid the next person I would like to thank is my sister Elizabeth. She gets to hear me rant when I'm kind of out of control and 
when I'm freaking out and panicking and she talks me through things and she listens and she doesn't judge me. Um, she's just a wonderful, wonderful person. She's doing really great things in her life and I am so thankful that she's in my life and I'm so thankful that she's not just my sister but that she's a really great friend. The next person I would like to thank is my Aunt Rhonda. Thank you so much for loving me and caring about me. Thank you for supporting me in the things that I'm trying to do. Thank you for being there for me and for being encouraging and for listening and for teaching me the importance of family. And thank you. And after we moved up here last year, I met a, my new friend, Stephanie. And we grew up in the same area and both landed here. So, so weird. But anyway, Stephanie, thank you. Thank you so much for being an awesome cheerleader. Thank you for encouraging me and for supporting me and for loving me when I'm hard to love. Thank you for showing me how to be friends. Um... To be a good friend when it's really hard to be friends sometimes. I watch you and I, I see how you treat your friends and you are an awesome, awesome friend. And I thank you so much for modeling that for me. I appreciate you so, so much. And then the next person that I would like to mention and thank is my friend John. He is really the first person that I let in after I lost Rhonda and he makes me laugh. He listens to me without judging me. He lets me rant. He lets me be silly. He lets me have my ADD moments and I'm just, John, I'm so thankful for you and Thank you for letting me know that it's safe to be friends again. Thank you so much. And the last but not least person that I would like to thank is Jennifer. Jennifer, I thank you so much for being a part of my life. I am so glad to know you, and I can't wait to make a ton of more memories with you. I thank you for allowing me to just be myself and not judging me or not expecting me to be someone who I am not because I am a preacher's wife. I love you. Thank you, guys.